as technology continues to advance. We continue to get exciting new features and improvements on existing features. From 720 type to 8K TV, the resolution is one of those things that's improved significantly over the years. 8K TV have been making the rounds. They're advertised as the next best thing, so they must be twice as good as 4K TV. Right? It's not so simple. Before we answer the question, here are a few things you need to know first. What is a TV resolution? Images on screens consist of pixels, and resolution refers to the number of pixels a TV has at its disposal to create images. Think of your TV screen as a canvas, and the pixels are how much paint you have. The amount of paint you need for a good painting depends on the size of the canvas. Likewise, the size of the TV impacts the pixel count required for a full image. Smaller screens require lower resolutions. This may be a bit of an oversimplification, but it helps explain the premise. They cost more than lower res TV, but are 8K TV worth it? Can the average person even notice the difference? These are the questions we'll answer here. Pixel density. Pixel count is just one thing to consider. Resolution works hand in hand with the size of the screen. Pixel density refers to how packed together the pixels on the TV are. While a small screen can produce stunning images with 720 type resolution because the pixels are tightly packed, a bigger screen would struggle a low pixel count because the pixels would be too stretched for the big screen. What is an 8K resolution? An 8K TV is a TV with a screen that can show 7,680 horizontal and 4,320 vertical pixels for a total of 33,177,600 pixels. This is such a massive leap from 4K TV. And with four times more pixels, 8K TV seems superior. The significantly higher pixel count in these TV should equal fuller and better images. But does it? The answer is, it depends. As with every other product, a few factors to consider before deciding if they're suitable for you. We're not going to tell you what to do, but we will give you all the information you need to make a decision starting with the things you should consider. Content. Having a high quality TV is just one side of the equation. To get the best out of a TV, you also need high quality content to view. For an 8K TV, you will need 8K content to notice the difference. Watching low res content on an 8K TV would be akin to watching black and white shows on a colored TV. It's still great, but you won't get your money's worth. The problem with this is that 8K isn't mainstream yet, and as a result, there isn't any 8K content for you to choose from. The majority of movies and shows on TV these days are 2K and 4K. For this reason, 8K TV aren't worth it right now. It's worth noting that you can upscale content. 4K TV usually upscale 2K content to 4K. This improving, 8K TV will implement advanced techniques to upscale low-res content. Although, this isn't the same as viewing true 8K content. However, if you have 8K content, that's a good reason to get an 8K TV. Internet. Do you know how on YouTube you can select the resolution you want to stream videos? The higher the resolution, the higher the amount of data spent because more information is downloaded. The same applies here if you ever stream with an 8K TV. Streaming 8K content is going to cost you a significantly higher amount of data. To enjoy seamless streaming on an 8K TV, you'll also need high-speed internet to keep up with the massive data consumption. Your eyes. The human body has limited processing power, and our brains are always choosing what to prioritize. Just like your eyes ignore your nose, or how we can't hear certain frequencies, there are certain things our eyes can't perceive as well. A common debate is whether our eyes can even process the level of detail in an 8K TV. If you put a 4K TV next to an 8K TV, you may struggle to tell the difference. To notice any considerable difference, you may need to sit closer to the TV than you usually would. Size of the screen. We earlier talked about the implications of pixel density. To truly appreciate an 8K TV, you will need a big screen size. There's practically no difference between 2K and 4K resolutions on small screens because of the pixel density. 8K would also struggle to stand out on a small screen. 8K TV will show more details than 4K TV on big screens because of the higher pixel density. If you decide to go big for an 8K TV, consider getting something like a 100-inch TV. 8K TV retail for significantly more than 4K. It's hard to see how they're worth all the extra money considering all the other factors discussed. Should you get an 8K TV or 4K? 8K TV are much better than 4K TV. In addition to the high pixel count, they have all the new and exciting features you'd expect with recent releases, such as HDR and high brightness levels. However, for most people watching regular shows or playing video games at home, the difference between an 8K TV and a 4K TV is quite challenging. Additionally, those exciting new features are also available in 4K TV. Ultimately, the answer is no. 8K TV are not worth it. 8K TVs sound impressive, but there's no practical reason to get them. 
except for the fact that they're new and exciting. In the end, they're a piece of equipment no one really needs right now. It's worth noting that people said the same things about 4K TV when they first came out, and with time, as more 8K content and products at the market, our opinions are subject to change. However, you don't have to get an 8K TV. But if you want to upgrade your TV and have access to 8K content, and have considered what we discussed earlier, you can get one for yourself. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.